let it be a historical day for the pensioner throughout the nation. Here you have come from various parts of the country. Uh, if somebody wants to translate, you can translate. I will be a bit slow. There are national languages में आपका अनुवाद करने के लिए हिंदी में, मराठी में, मलयालम में, तेलुगु में और तमिल में और गुजराती में और बंगाली में some translation from yourselves you can do it. Or after my speech he will do it. My friend, uh, my Leonard Senior, other way, Yandavanji from Jaji Sabha, he is also here. We were together in the Lok Sabha, 15 Lok Sabha, from four years back. We are again in different houses. He is in the Rajya Sabha, I am from the Lok Sabha. Other MPs may also come. They will join before you finish your business here. I hope so. The All India Coordination Committee of EPF Pensioners Association. It's a very serious issue of the nation. The human life is only for once. You have already devoted your life for the service of the nation. Now you are retired. Our slogan is, pension is not a privilege, but pension is a right. Pension is the right of a citizen. Pension is the right of a human being. So we are demanding for our genuine right. We are not begging before anybody. We are demanding our genuine right. I am not taking much time. I am not going to repeat your demands. That demands you have circulated. Here are no lobby constitution club men. The constitution club men absorb the this club is our Sansar Ke Liye Hai Our Raj Aap Log Bhi Sansar Hai Ye Hamara Desh Ki Retired Employees Ki Sansar Hai Retired doesn't mean tired In the heart of heart you are all young आपके दिल में नौजवान है आई एक्सप्रेस माई सॉलिडारिटी टू योर डिमांड्स द मिनिमम पेंशन डियर मैस अलेवेंस नो रिड्यूस पेंशन फॉर एयरली रिटेरिस Restoration of commuted amount as per CBT decision. Restoration of right of commutation. The right of return of capital. And restore the method of calculation of pension. You are demanded that the 12 months average should be taken and recalculate the pensions accordingly. Other demands are also here. You are well versed with that. Much better than me, you know. Because it is your sweat and tears, it is your blood and it is your life. So you know much, much better than me. You don't know the art of swindling. You don't know the art of looting. And you don't know the art of leaving India. Crop 
properties and properties are here. The multi millionaires are the multi billionaires. They know the art of swindling. They know the art of looting. And they know how to leave India. And now, our banks are bleeding. Whose money is it? Many of our public sector banks are bleeding. Not because of you. Not because of you. And not because of me. We know because of who. The whole Indian economy is bleeding. Just like a human being who has met with an accident and whose blood is oozing out. The life is in in danger. A news came, it was 30,000 crores of rupees. And within hours, again the news broke out. No, it is not 13,000 crores of rupees. It is more than 40,000 crores of rupees. And after one day, another news broke out. It is more than 80,000 crores of rupees. Those who have sacrificed their life for the nation, those who have devoted their life for the nation, those who have worked sincerely, honestly, with their whole heart, and they are losing their money. Those who have looted the money, they have went abroad. And many more may be on the queue. And if the government says that, we don't have sufficient money to provide for the pensioners. From where the money was siphoned off to those who looted the nation, who swindled the money. Here, I may conclude my speech by saying, Hey, Jesus. We were together in the Lok Sabha. He is, uh, he is also with you. And the other MPs are, they may also come cutting across party lines. Because we are all human beings. We are all human beings. The inflation is going up. The fuel prices are going up. The prices of the essential goods are going up. The prices of medicines are also going up. If somebody goes to a hospital for treatment, we know what may happen. If you see, For the last two years, we don't get a book during the budget session. That book is called uh, the Statement of Revenue for God. The government is giving more and more concessions to the corporates. To those who are saying that we are importing stones, we are cutting and polishing and then we are exporting the stones. We are engaged in the gems and the jewelry. During the last one year ago, the government of India has given concessions in the name of exemptions in customs duty, exemptions in excise duty, and exemptions in the corporate income tax, and exemptions in other surcharges and cess. More than 4 lakh crores of rupees, around 4.5 lakh crores of rupees have been exempted as concessions. The total budget of the government of India this year is only 24 lakh crores of rupees. The portion which has to be given for the general education, the percentage of the GDP which has been, which has to be given to the general health, public health. The amount that has to be given to the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Planning Program 
it is all being shunned. If you compare with other states, so other countries or neighboring countries, the percentage of the gross national income, which is earmarked for the general education and the public health, other countries are above and rank, we are below the rank. When we speak of the pension, we say, we are with you. We are with you and we will be always with you. We have uh, tried our best to raise your slogans, your demands in both the houses of parliament, in Lok Sabha as well as in Rajya Sabha. You will again do that. So I will once again, I Namaskaram, Namaskaram, Namaskaram. Once again, I express my sincere gratitude to invite, uh, for inviting me. And uh, I also express my thanks to you for hearing me, hearing my words. And the words, nothing else but your own words. I have added nothing else in my speech. With all respect to all my elder sisters and brothers, you are elders to me. I once again promise to take up your issues inside the parliament and outside the parliament and also in all the public forum wherever I can. And I wish you struggle or success. This is you are in the Mahavendar Auditorium of the Constitution Club of India. You are very near to the Parliament House of India. There is no other venue which is closer to the building of the Parliament of India. But I don't know whether it will. It is very, and it is from the people all the power derives, and all the fruits of the power should reach to the footsteps of the common people. Thank you. Thank you. And once again, I wish all success for your study.